go. <laughs> this is not pretty. Hi folks, it's simply me. This is Miyakio's Ladybug Reaction Season 5 and today we are watching episode number 9, Elation slash Exaltation, because I am Still not sure on the actual name of this episode, but it's either of those two. It surprisingly premiered today on October 3rd with French dub. I don't think this episode is important to Gabriel's character in any way, however I presume it is quite important to the development between Marinette, Adrian, Ladybug, Cat Noir, all that stuff. I tend to make uh, reactions to episodes that do not really interest me shorter, so I decided okay, I'll just do it. Still, I am not saying I'm not going to enjoy this episode because I don't know, I haven't watched it yet and I have no idea what this episode is actually about except the Marshat content and probably Glass Eater because whenever this Marshat, Glass Eater appears. This is basically the rule. So let's just start the episode. Yay! <laughs> what was that gesture? What the fuck is the book? Okay, no, you two are truly made for each other. Oh my gosh, you are both so fucked up. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that it would, you know, make me laugh so much, but... <laughs> I guess it's a bit of 2016 me merging with the current me. <laughs> can I join the Oh, actually, I do have a snack, so I can start eating with you guys. Well, unless... Um, <laughs> can you, can you, like... Okay, no, 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 that, um... That wasn't okay, uh... Too much kisses, lady, but, like... Uh, can we stop with... Can you stop assaulting Adrian in this show? <laughs> I shouldn't be making fun of these things, but I truly am not making fun of this. I feel uncomfortable with, uh, in, you know, kissing Adrian without his permission, basically. And, um, well, this wasn't the kiss on the lips. And I know that now Adrian considers that kiss in that Puppeteer 2 a fond memory. And this, you know, the, the, those were cheek kisses. But still, it is not good. I am feeling uncomfortable with the energy we created in the studio today. <laughs> Jesus. Sad music, literally. I mean, it's so obvious they will end up together, so why should I be concerned? Like he doesn't experience this in his civilian life. A break for Adrian's to a chat noir. Cat Noir! Oh my gosh! I shouldn't be better in front, I'm sorry. Not Alia again, please! Nothing personal, I just can't stand looking at Alia anymore in all of these episodes because basically every single episode now is Marinette telling a story to Alia and I get that this was probably like the original concept or one of the original concepts. I have noticed that they keep making callbacks to previous versions of the show or characters, concept arts. Like Gabriel's new rebranded bleached look is basically a callback to the first version of his character. So clean looks a bit like the first version of Marinette. I believe there were some other things here and there. Uh, Felix appeared, but uh, with Felix I think it's a different story. First of all, he appeared in season 3 and he is a different character than he was supposed to be in the first version because he was supposed to be um, the second main character that Adrian is now in the in the final version and I believe there was this concept of Marinette basically telling this story to Alia and the show was supposed to be the story and all that stuff but girl I... Uh... <laughs> that was good. That was good. Yes, yes, Tom and Sabine, your shit is happening already. Oh no, he's being judged hard by his probably, you know. 
future in-laws because oh my goodness it's so obvious that Adrian and Marinette will always be together eventually and get married and have their kids and the hamster of course they will I mean the way she goes about this thing is a bit concerning it isn't healthy <laughs> This is basically Gabriel when he tells Emily he loves her. <laughs> Sorry, I could not resist myself. I could not resist myself. <laughs> the eye twitching. I told you, I told you. This is like Adrian has no break. Give him a break and some pancakes. Like, no wonder Gabriel never leaves his house. If I was as famous as him and his son, I would never leave my house. I swear, Edgy just going to places without, you know, asking anyone. It looks so jarring, but I am so happy about it. It's what he deserves. Well, she just wanted to do that with you, but not really with you, not really she, even though she's her and... Oh, you are him and blah. Lost worshippers. I feel so sorry to you for having to endure that for five freaking seasons now. And now it's all being reversed and it's still messy as shit. By the way, I'm eating a dessert that my mom made and it's so delicious. She's such a talented and skilled cook and baker. Oh my goodness, I hope she will teach me how to do some things one day. William! Stop it. I, I thought we were past that. No, that was too risky. You cannot tell me that no one has seen him. Oh, hello. Hello, Mershat. I mean, it's kind of cute seeing her so smitten about Chanois, but... About Cat Noir, I'm sorry. I don't want to butcher French. I'm buttering English already. The thing is, like, um... <laughs> Back in the old days, I was a Marshat shipper. I mean, I never looked at those ships as, you know, four completely different separate things because they are all the same people. But out of all the dynamics, I was interested in Marshat the most because, you know, they had no feelings for each other and there was there was this potential of them becoming friends and knowing each other better and falling in love with the sincerity that they present when they are with each other and we've got a few Marshad episodes. It, it wasn't really like a real plot going on so uh, this wasn't the execution I hoped for but like I said I do not really care about the main characters anymore so I am not really that bothered even and I simply you know I enjoy what I'm having. <laughs> You know, sometimes these uh, subtitles do be tripping, <laughs> but I hope they are correct. Hey. <laughs> oh no, they are Ladrian, but reversed. <laughs> Marushat became new Ladrian. I was craving? No, 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 that was tricky. I'm just making it. It's incredible to meet you here. It's not here. Okay, Adrian, what is your plan here? Because you are obviously making moves to Marinette as Adrian. You cannot pull off the same thing as Cat Noir and basically play with her feelings. So like a rose again. Of course I do remember, you know. Uh, that scene from Gacita. There was also this episode where uh, Cat Noir thought that Marinette is in love with him. So... <laughs> Did they like forget about this? They, they, they... Okay, maybe, maybe they will refer to that episode. I think it was season three. Where that? Could you be? I'm in love with Ladybug. Sur les toits au clair de lune. Such a romantic. He takes after his dad. Marshall fans actually getting a romantic Marshall episode. Can you uh, like? <laughs> uh, but she's still in her pajamas. Yeah, like literally, Alia, this is Marinette's private life, her choices. Uh, can you get a grip, girl? Therapy sticky, okay. 
ce serait pas la fin du monde. Peut-être que c'est... But the end of the world happened twice already. Twice already. The video keeps lagging. Great. It's fucking fantastic. Wow. Wow. Pourtant, il est forcément quelque part. Oh my. Who? Oh yeah, the, the ice cream maker. For a second, I thought they were talking about Monarch. That wouldn't make sense at all. <laughs> but my brain is possessed by Gabriel and his stay at home that era and all that stuff. No, but honestly, this is what they deserve. To be happy, young, and in love. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I wanna look at these photographs. <laughs> of course, of course, Ladybug and Canoir. Uh, <gasps> there is the gay couple! Thank you! This is so, you know, uh, this is so simple and like, yes! Yes! This, this should be obvious, but we live in a world where it's not and it's Oh, I mean, sadly, it is easy to cut out and, you know, censorship and stuff. Okay, fam, do we think Gabriel and Emily had an ice cream from Andrea the ice cream maker? I think the possibility is quite high and I wouldn't mind a flashback of sorts or even a photograph. Of course, I do ship Gabe Nat, but Gabriel and Emily's love story, even though it's in the past, it interests me so much and it's so obvious now that Gabriel was such a romantic and I just want to see him young and in love. Being so sweet with Emily and see Emily. <laughs> I just want some fluff, you know? I just want that fluff. What? <laughs> I mean, they had hot dogs uh, in New York. Okay, fine enough! Is Adrian finding out that Marinette is in love with him because half fucking time? Yes! Yes! Do that. Uh, <laughs> music engineering in this episode is something entirely else. <laughs> Maybe it is because subtitles put such an emphasis on the music and this is why I'm not seeing it. But really, they, there's a lot of music this episode. Wow, real talk here. Also, oh, Statue of Liberty. Like, okay, not the real one, obviously, but I think it is truly intentional because, you know, New York special. We've all seen that. They are actually going to talk about that. This is great because, yes, promote talking about your feelings. This is not true. <laughs> Adrian. Oh, cute. Are they actually doing the kiss? Well, this is this is a lot of kisses, especially for fourteen-year-olds. But okay, let's go. <laughs> Are you joking? Are you fucking kidding me? Are they really going for? The first, like, real kiss in this timeline without reversing anything, without memory loss. Genuine kiss between these two. Holy shit! I am actually enjoying that! <laughs> also, this scene is so simply beautiful! Beautiful. I mean, this is true, sort of. This is true from his perspective. Honestly, true. Yes, yes. 
<laughs> you deserve to be happy. You are fucking 14. You are carrying responsibility way too heavy for your shoulders. Up, but like, I do not believe that they will actually, you know, that, that, that he will actually acclimatize Marinette because no fucking way. <laughs> no fucking way. A young woman? She's 14 for God's sake. Like maybe 15, but you know, 15 at most. This is not a woman age. This is a child age. Damn. This situation is so complicated. Voilà un rendez-vous galant que mon Megakuma ne raterait pour rien au monde. Calqué danser à cette amoureuse déçue, le tango des romances sans lendemain. You are honestly into some dances. <laughs> Oh my goodness, he's he's into dancing. This is my head canon. This is um at least the second time he referred to dancing. There was a dance of doom, and now a tango of what? A tango of one night romance. <laughs> Not him saying that. <laughs> you know, with all these head canons and fun works of you know various various gave not happenings um that's, that's so funny like he's oh, such a funny man je suis monarque oh oh tu as je t'en supplie résiste no no my not my not yeah better than this again okay mais tu m'écoutais pas j'ai essayé seulement de t'aider de te sauver she yeah, you almost got acclimatized for the second time. She didn't have, you know, such a breakdown the first time it happened in Ladybug. Um, and well, I, I, actually, it was only due to Natalie's illness. She didn't get acclimatized. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Everything's fine. Keep going. <laughs> but this time, yeah, this time was um, even more dramatic. Oh my gosh. Plus, she's a guardian now. She's the guardian now. You should know something about it. You keep, you know, you keep doing that out of desire for, for your wife. <laughs> so... What are you on about? Not Andrea having a meltdown of her ladybug and cat noir's love life. Action music. <laughs> the way he is so <laughs> Oh, Classy just movements are sending me. It's big and chunky and that's basically all. <laughs> that's so funny. Leave Notre Dame, please. <laughs> She suffered the fire already. No, no! Very upsetting visual. <laughs> okay, actually, go Alia! This is what she should be doing. <laughs> She's learning her lesson! Go Alia! I know I was you know, kind of roasting her, but. I give credit when credit is due. Ce n'est pas tout à fait ça, Malady. Disons que mes sentiments ont changé. They're talking. Non, pas par là. Ils sont cachés derrière cette porte. Monarch watching this melodrama. <laughs> Everything about this is so haunted. The fact that it's just him. In civilian form, inside that huge chunk of ice cream hulk. What's going on? Why? So oh, hello, bleached daddy. <laughs> I mean, I already said that this design grew on me. Still, I will keep making fun of him because I love him. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is not pretty, Gabriel. Gabriel, it keeps getting worse. It does keep getting worse. Of course, I have noticed that. Gabriel, Gabriel. Um, <clears throat> I cannot believe I'm I, I'm saying this to you because I kept saying this to Natalie. But man, you have one job. 
do not die. Simple as that. Can you just not die and leave Adrian on alone? <sighs> no way he... No way he will die. I refuse to believe that. But... We do not really know what will happen to Gabriel. I am just, you know, I am worried about the circumstances. Oh no. I mean, well, um, she is Ladybug, so you know, I'm just the right person. It's interesting that Gabriel, you know, will target Marinette specifically. It does create an interesting, um, interesting opportunity for a conflict and some identities revealed. He said it. Of course he did. <laughs> he already said that he would marry himself. So you go, Cat Noir. Legend. He's so cute. He's so cute. He rebels just like her. Oh. Okay, so I guess that she kind of given up on Cat Noir, but Adrian hasn't given up on Marinette, so this creates an opportunity for Adrian to happen. This is my prediction. Or oh, she is! But it is complicated. Oh, cute. All right, all right. Was it a solid, enjoyable episode that changed something about status quo? Of course. Isn't an episode I would be going back to? I don't think so. Still, I am glad that we got it because, you know, season five simply does make sense so far. It's also the fact that we are getting in chronological order, except for illusion, but... This mistake was already fixed <laughs> and we got all the other episodes in um, in the right order. Miraculous got a huge glow up uh, in terms of air dates and in terms of um, the plot because season 5 seems to be uh, solid and consistent so far. I mean, it's been only 9 episodes out of 26 so I cannot judge, you know, the whole season five but i am feeling hopeful excited but also satisfied and this is a new thing i am glad that the show that i have loved for almost seven years with its ups and downs and occasional breaks and boredom disappointments and tasting my patience <laughs> is getting so much better and season five seems like you know it it really has potential to be the best episodes uh, the best episode the best season of miraculous oh my goodness <laughs> i can't wait for the next episode but i will admit i wouldn't mind a short break because i can't keep up with editing my reactions and i also want to do some edits but i have no idea when i will be able to because i also have uni stuff to do so you know a, a small break uh, would be appreciated but still i hope you enjoyed this video and the episode itself please let me know in the comments leave a like and subscribe me if you haven't yet if you want to and see you in the next one bye folks